The Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office received a 911 call with three victims shot on Courtney Road in Walker. Shortly after that, Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office arrived on, at the uh, location on Courtney Road where we confirmed three dead of a gunshot wound, one being a Billy Ernest Jr., 43, who is uh, the father of daughter Summer Ernest, who we believe to be the girlfriend of our suspect, as well as uh, Tanner Ernest, 17, which is going to be Mr. Ernest's son and the brother of Summer Ernest. There was also two juvenile victims inside the house, I'm sorry, two juveniles inside the home, one seven and one that was a year old. Neither one of those were harmed, and they both are safely with their mother. The sheriff's office was able to confirm that the vehicle traveled south on LA 447, which is South Walker area, in the direction of Ascension. Not long after this, uh, Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office confirmed that there was a double homicide in Ascension Parish that they were working. We were able to make a connection with the two parishes not long after that. Our suspect is identified as a one Dakota Terrio, who is 21 years old. It is believed that he was in a relationship with the victim, Summer Ernest. The Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office confirmed the suspect left at around 8.05 a.m. this morning in the victim's vehicle, Mr. Ernest's which is a 2004 Dodge pickup, gray over silver license. It's gonna be a Louisiana license. The C is in Charlie 583809. And it has an LSU sticker in the back window. The suspect was last seen wearing a blue sweatshirt, blue jeans and white tennis shoes. He has two tattoos. Uh, one is gonna be on his upper uh, right side of his chest. The other is gonna be on the inside of his right forearm. We believe the suspect is armed with at least one handgun. As always, we're asking for the public any information to please contact the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office, Ascension Sheriff's Office, or Crime Stoppers. We have charged uh, Mr. Terrio with three counts of first degree murder, as well as theft of a motor vehicle. We've only had one dealing in the past with Mr. Terrio here in Livingston Parish, which is a misdemeanor theft, I'm, I'm sorry, a misdemeanor uh, simple possession of uh, drug paraphernalia. We do not have a motive, it is still undetermined. Uh, after speaking with uh, the mother of, uh, who was believed to be his girlfriend, there was uh, no red flags, there's no, no sign of anything, so the, we, we have no motive at this time. Uh, we are uh, totally focused on finding him. Uh, we're following every lead that, is, that, we, that we come up with. Uh, we ask that you uh, really pay attention to the facts, and that's what we have to do. Uh, be careful of rumors on social media that can uh, lead people in the wrong direction and just put a lot of unnecessary information out there. So please tune in to your, your, your local news channel who uh, we are in, now in contact with and we'll be making sure we put out the facts. And it's really important to this investigation that we do that. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office, Crime Stoppers and the Louisiana State Police Task Force, as well as uh, my detectives, Louisiana Parish Sheriff's Office for uh, working not only together, but they have been working nonstop trying to locate Mr. Terrio. Uh, we want to make sure that we, as quickly as we, can, as we possibly can, um, get this person in custody behind bars where he belongs, where he needs to be, uh, so we know that uh, we can make sure that uh, the people in this parish feel a little safer, uh, make sure that uh, the family, the victim's family has a little bit of uh, some, some closure tonight, so uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure that happens. Uh, at this time, I'm going to allow uh, Sheriff Weber with the Central Parish Sheriff's Office to uh, Go ahead. Well, first and foremost, our condolences to the families of the victims that were slain today. I know they are suffering tonight at the hands of a murderer. And our commitment to them is that we will use all of our resources, all the resources that we have available to us to bring this murderer to justice. We also will reach out to our, our partners in the state and, and federal uh, government to help us with this uh, 
investigation and they will use whatever resources they have. Uh, as you know, uh, Terrio traveled from Livingston Parish this morning to Ascension Parish where he arrived at his parents' trailer and went inside that trailer and he shot both his mother and his father. Uh, based on information we received at the scene from the father, who was still alive at the time, he gave us the information necessary uh, for us to cut warrants on Dakota Terrio for two counts of first degree murder. And he will be charged with that once he's apprehended. We have a, uh, indications that he will, he's traveling east of here. Uh, we think he is out of this area and maybe in another state. I will tell you that tips and leads are coming in. We are going to work every lead. We're going to work every tip. Uh, and we just have to follow through. As information comes in, as information changes, such as today, Sheriff Ord was able to give you more information on the vehicle. There is the LSU sticker in the back window of that vehicle. And we do have uh, tattoos that we can report on Terrio himself. One on his chest again and one on his arm. So uh, just in addition to my press release today, not much has changed, but I will tell you our detectives, as you can see behind us, are still working. They're still working in Ascension. There's a lot of information to be uh, uncovered and we look forward to getting that information to you as timely as we can. But as Sheriff Ord said, we want to make sure that it's done accurately. Thank you. <coughs> yes, sir. There was talk this is one of the worst domestic disturbances you've ever encountered, you've ever seen. Was there some history of this prior to this? <coughs> That's a good question. I don't know if it's the worst domestic, but in the last few years it has been the worst domestic violence that we've seen in Ascension. But I will tell you, he was not on our radar screen in Ascension Parish. We have not had any activity with the Terrio family in Ascension. We do know he had some history, uh, maybe in St. Charles and, and Jefferson Parish, but not of a domestic nature. So no, there was no red flag in Ascension, and we've never answered a complaint at that residence before. Uh, we, we had no red flags as well in, in, in this parish, of, uh, and we have never really dealt with Terrio. Uh, we do know that he was uh, living with his girlfriend's parents, had been living there a couple weeks. And when did that happen? Because I was trying to understand the timeline of uh, what happened first. So his parents were shot first, and then he went to his girlfriend? No, we believe that he actually uh, was here first, and this, that's where he actually uh, shot and killed his girlfriend, her brother, and her father. And then he traveled from here to Ascension Parish where he murdered his, his mother and his father. Now, can you tell us exactly where you think they may be? Because he might be tonight. Like, are we looking in Mississippi at this point? Ma'am, we do not know where he's at. Uh, we don't know where his whereabouts. Uh, we've been getting several tips. We're following up on those tips. But right now, we do not have him located. So it is multi-state, however? Uh, possibly. Do you know about the murder weapon? Where did he, got, where did he get that? Uh, we do not. We, uh, we're still uh, trying to check leads. As I said, this, this happened this morning. Uh, we just know that we believe that it was, uh, a handgun was used, and we're trying to follow up on every lead that we have on that. What would you say to him right now that would make him turn himself in? Uh, well, I mean, if, if he's listening, he needs to turn himself in is, is, uh, to any local authority as quick as possible. Ma'am, we don't know. If I knew where he was at, I can promise you that I'd have deputies all over him. Uh, we just don't know where he's at. We're just trying to follow up on every lead that we have. Uh, we, do, we do believe that he is traveling somewhere. Can you talk about the pictures? Because you said that he might look like the person in the third picture, right? Uh, that picture, uh, I mean? Well, there, there's three different pictures. There, there's, there's an older picture on there that actually, uh, Ascension, I think y'all released. And I think the, uh, this is going to be the latest picture of him over here. Uh, it's got a little bit more hair, it's got a little facial hair, so he's a little older in this picture than the other two. So this one over here is going to be the one he looks like a little bit, a little bit more today. Are uh, the tattoo is one's on his chest, so it's probably not going to be visible with a shirt. The other's on the inside of his uh, right forearm, so with it being cold weather, probably not going to have, uh, he's probably going to have sleeves on as well. A restraining order or not? Or is there None. any talk of that? Not, nothing. Where are the tattoos? Um, I'm not sure what the tattoos are. I'd have to look at the, uh, get back with you on that. I have that information. You have that information? Yeah. Go ahead. He has it. Yeah, so the tattoos, the one on his the right side of his chest is going to be a cross, and the tattoo on his forearm is going to be the symbol of a yin-yang yin symbol on his forearm. So that's the two that we know about. You said he was heading, uh, heading east. Do you know what his last known appearance was? Where someone actually saw him or talked to him, met him? Uh, 
uh, we would believe the only last would, would be in, in your parish at, at, the, at the crime scene. Yes, and we, we, we don't know exactly what time he was there. There was a, uh, a roommate in the house that was sleeping but heard nothing. Uh, the only reason we know he was there is because the father told us he was there. We didn't know how he left the scene, but now after working with the Livingston detectives, we know what truck that he was uh, uh, last in and we believe he's still in that vehicle. Can you say whose truck it is? I'm sorry. Truck? Uh, the, the truck actually belongs to Mr. Billy Ernest, which is going to be his girlfriend's father. Can you tell us what the widow's the father may have said to uh, police to let them know that who was the, who was the suspect? Well, I would tell you the father was, as you know, gravely injured at the time we found him and has since passed away and we was able to get a dying declaration from him. It, only enough information to let us know that it was his son that committed this act. How did you guys figure out that it was connected? Uh, well, just sharing information and, and the detectives working together. Uh, obviously, we work in three here and uh, we had uh, some names and that led to detectives sharing information with the detectives over in Ascension Parish and just was able to put it together. All right, guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. So thank you very much.